Good morning, kind people of the internet. Today is the first ever book review, talk, chat, discussion on this YouTube channel. So you may have seen the video last week where I mentioned I'm starting a book club and it's really just a way to force myself to read more or to try to stick to some sort of reading schedule because I really like reading, but I have not been doing it as much as I want to. So the first book up is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, which I just finished yesterday. And the book for next Sunday is going to be this Wayne Shorter biography. And then the following Sunday after that is Lincoln's Melancholy. So in case you're interested in reading either of those, I'll be talking about those in the next two Sundays. So I will say this book really knocked me out. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I mean, I had heard the basic plot line. I knew this book was set in Indianapolis and I'm from and currently live in Indianapolis. So I think I probably have a lot of ties with people who were really into this book really early on. Um, but for whatever reason, I didn't ever read it until just this week. So I just finished the book a couple of hours ago, so I'm sure it will take me some time to fully process what I've just read. One thing that I know for sure, even though I just finished it, was that I was not expecting to be moved as much as I was by a book that's about teenagers. And of course, it's more than just about these teenagers. There are so many like broad themes just about life and love and loss. Um, and taking risks and just there's just so much in here. One of the things that really surprised me about this book, especially because of the topic that this book covers, was the amount that I was actually laughing as I was reading the book. I mean, the humor in it is, is just so well done in, in sort of like some of it's like a deadpan way uh, with the main character when she's just going about certain activities and just like the thoughts that she's having and her reactions. Also her wit along with the other main character in the book, their interactions, um, even though they're going through a lot of hard stuff, they are able to like find the humor in it, which was incredible. But then like a few pages later, I would be on the verge of tears just like for what they were going through. So for me, this was a really fast and easy read. One, I think it's just super well written and the storyline is great. So it just keeps you moving along and just keeps you turning the pages. I think John Green is really great at ending chapters and he wouldn't just end a chapter with like a plot cliffhanger, but he would end the chapters with so many different profound thoughts where you would pause and you would just, it would take a minute to just to digest what was there. But then it was almost like, okay, you needed to just continue the story. Um, not necessarily because you wanted to know what was going to happen, but you just wanted to sort of stay in that zone of thinking it and feeling in a really deep way. And man, it was like every chapter, I was almost chuckling to myself, just like how well the chapters ended. So that was one thing that I, I guess I'm not used to with a lot of books. Many times it just seems like they pause the plot and the next chapter they're just starting again. But it was almost like every chapter was wrapped up with like this little um, bow tie and then you would move on to in the next chapter. So I, man, I, I just really loved that. Okay, it's around 30 degrees in Indianapolis today and it's getting really dry. So I'm gonna go put on some chapstick and I'll be right back. And we are back. Okay, so one of the other things I really loved about this book was just how much I felt like I was in the head of the main character. And I don't wanna really give away plot details or anything like that, but um, just more explain the feeling that I got from the book. So I really, I mean, she was just going through so many, so many struggles and a lot of things that I've never experienced in my life, but just the way that he would describe her day-to-day -day activities and also her thoughts, um, was great because it's like, okay, you get to read the conversation that she's actually having with somebody, but then you you get to almost go behind the scenes and like hear her thoughts. And then you know if she's being like completely honest or if she's not telling the whole truth or if she's being very blunt and almost brutally honest um, because she doesn't want to lie in a certain situation. I found all of that super fascinating and really interesting just to sort of like it's almost as if you're like walking in somebody else's shoes. So I really, that was something I really loved about the book. I think the biggest thing I got from this book was the idea of not taking love for granted because it's something that can easily be taken away. And the more you realize that, then when you are with the people that you love, 
I think it's maybe easier to stay fully in that moment and just connect and um, appreciate all, all of those moments that you get even more. Um, so thank you, John Green, for writing this great book, and I look forward to reading more of your stuff in the future. And next week, the book on the list will be this Wayne Shorter biography called The Life and Work of Wayne Shorter by Michelle Mercer. So thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.